Okay, so in chapter 13, we talk about the display network and how the various sites can either behave well for you or behave very poorly for you, as is usually the case with about 90% of the sites that advertise your ads on their websites. So what you want to do is keep those in check. Uh, those The sites that advertise your ads are also referred to as placements and for the the purpose of this demonstration and for working with AdWords we're always going to refer to them as placements. So we have three procedures that we outline in chapter 13 and that is sweeping placements, graduating placements, and reforming uh, poorly performing placements. So just a quick review of that you can go through back through that in the book but a quick review is when we do a placement sweep we're looking for placements that are taking our money but not giving conversions. So we're going to show you how to quickly find those, identify them, and uh, get rid of them so you don't continue to waste money on those websites. Then we're also going to talk about placement graduation. And those are websites that are taking your money but are also delivering conversions at a rate that is acceptable to you. So what you want to do is graduate those from automatic placements into managed placements so that you can be even more aggressive and get more traffic from those websites and although it seems counterintuitive you en end up raising your bids but you usually lower your average cost per conversion by doing so because those are again those are placements that are performing very well for you so you can actually afford to raise bids and it ends up lowering your average cost per conversion and then finally we talk about placement reform school so that's a similar process in that we are going to graduate uh, poorly performing keywords into uh, managed placement positions but instead of rewarding them and raising bids we're going to keep a close eye on them and lower bids because although they're converting for you they're converting a little bit too expensive so we're gonna basically put those in reform school as we like to call it in the book and watch those more closely usually with lower bids instead of higher bids. So in this video we're gonna talk about lesson one which is the placement sweep. So let's go over and take a look at a live account and see how we would do that for the first time when setting up this uh, campaign management procedure. So here we are in a campaign or in an account and I'm looking at all time. Now this is goes quite a ways back but that's okay you're gonna do the same thing you're just gonna look at all time when you initially set this up and then you'll build a maintenance procedure that will deal with this kind of on a monthly basis but we're just co covering getting this set up for the first time right now so the first thing we want to do is go over here to our networks tab we want to make sure we're showing statistics for all time and then we're going to go to automatic placements. If you have not done this before, you won't have any managed placement statistics. I've done this um, for an account a long time ago, um, and and I'm just going to show you in automatic placements what you would do. So basically, what we want to do is drill down to the show details for automatic placements, not managed placements, but automatic. Then we want to set a filter. And we're going to create a filter and we're going to say conversions equal zero. We're going to hit apply. So now instead of showing all of the conversions, we're going to show all of the websites that have taken our money. See, we, they've cost us a penny here, a quarter there, um, a dime other places, etc. We're going to sort by cost. And what we're going to do is take and find those websites that have taken lots and lots of our money but not delivered conversions. So as you can see here, there are quite a few over the long haul that have been taking probably not a lot of money any given month, but over a long period of time, as you can see, took a lot of money because this is an account where these folks typically like to pay under $25 per lead and in this case we spent nearly 700 on that website alone we don't want to continue to give them money so basically everything from here on down to a couple hundred dollars 
we're just going to say enough for you guys we're not giving you any more money we are going to exclude those placements so it asks us to confirm if we want to exclude those placements for just an ad, that ad group or for the entire campaign that's a choice that's up to you if you think that it's a terrible terrible uh, website then you can e exclude it for your campaign which would exclude it for any ad groups out there um, if you want to be more specific and just exclude it for a particular ad group but you think that 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 website would perform better for your other ad groups then you could just exclude it for the ad group so that's up to you I personally think uh, these are all pretty spammy sites that aren't worth very much so I'm gonna exclude them for uh, the entire campaign and hit save and there we have it I'm done I have uh, done my placement sweep procedure I've gotten rid of keywords or placements that have taken money uh, over a long period of time and I've said I'm no longer gonna give you money because you didn't perform for me now I said earlier that uh, you know these clients are only willing to spend about twenty five dollars per lead but I only cut off uh, placements that cost two hundred and that's about eight times what um, what they're willing to spend why wouldn't I go all the way down to 25 and the reason I don't do that is because every once in a while it's certainly possible for you to spend $25 and not get a conversion even if that's your average cost per conversion in fact every once in a, quite often you'll spend 50 um, but then the next fifty dollars you spend you could very well get four conversions and your average cost per conversion would still drop down um, so my rule of thumb is typically about five times what you're willing to spend. So I guess instead of going down to 200, I should have actually gone down to about 125, 150. So I can go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to uncheck everything. I'm going to go down and check from here on down to yeah, $130. And I'm going to I'm going to exclude those as well. So as a general rule, when you are excluding either keywords or placements because they haven't performed, they have brought zero conversions, you should probably only decide to exclude them after you've spent four or, four or five times as much as you're willing to spend on a single conversion. At that point, you can say, okay, I've given this guy plenty of chances. He hasn't performed. I'm going to get rid of him. So that does it for the uh, placement sweep procedure. You can watch the next video to talk about placement graduation, which is slightly different.